Well, first, um, here you have my, my email, nolimar.longa at .cms.com. Um, I've been a, a Java developer for about 13 years. And now I'm part of the .cms family for about uh, three years now. I'm looking forward to getting you all ramped up on some technical concepts and definition of .cms and simplify and clarify the setup process of a fully functional development environment. Um, during the, that's the session, I'll take some time to answer you, any question you may have. Um, I'll try to explain everything with as much detail as possible so you can just go ahead and take a look at this recorded session whenever you need to. So the content of this training is especially aimed to Java developers who want to build or integrate applications with um, .cms, uh, extend its functionality or features, and also for users who have a complete knowledge of all .cms basic and, and advanced functions that were provided by the first .cms courses. And uh, uh, are looking to get their hands on the Java source code. I will provide an overview of the .cms architecture, setting up the environment, uh, the .cms source code. We will see also some examples about the static and dynamic plugins, and, and also other technical topics. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the agenda today. Um, the training uh, is divided in three parts. Uh, in part one, I'm going to, to talk about the technology and an architectural overview, just to show you kind of how things work in .cms. Uh, as well as some of the .cms key concepts. And uh, we're also going to talk um, about the key database concepts. Then I'm going to help you to set up your environment locally. And here we, are, we will cover how to check out the, the code from Git so that you can import the in, in your IDE and have debugging capabilities. The code we are going to deal with in this training is the source code from our recent release. Um, in, the, in the document you received yesterday, uh, it says that the, la the, that the latest release was a 5.0.0. But I'm going to, to run 501. The difference between one release and the other one uh, is just a, a, um, a bit, uh, uh, there are just a bit qu uh, changes uh, related to, to a specific uh, box that for sure won't affect our, uh, our session today. So if you check out the, the 500 release, it's OK for the, for the train. No problem for that. Then uh, in part two, we'll talk about the different ways you, you can extend .cms. And we'll talk about the static plugins and what you can do with them. I'll show you guys a working example that you can use to extend it and experiment with it. And then in part three, the last part of our session, we'll talk about dynamic plugins that use the OSEI framework and what you can do with this kind of plugins. I'll show you some working example here as well. Uh, so you guys can create your own custom solutions. And also, if we have more time, we are going to cover uh, some facts and tips to keep in mind when coding with our, within our infrastructure. 